The Calibre and Harpoon missiles are like powerful champions, each with its own unique strengths. The Calibre missile made by Russia can do many different tasks like targeting ships, attacking land targets, and hunting submarines. It is like a shapeshifter, changing its role to deal with different challenges very accurately. On the other hand, the Harpoon missile, created in the United States, is an expert at taking down enemy ships. It is like a sea guardian with one clear mission, to track and destroy enemy surface vessels. While both missiles are top-notch in naval technology, they bring their own special strategies to the ever-changing game of maritime warfare. Here is the comparison between Harpoon and Caliber missiles side by side. Characteristics. The Harpoon stands as an all-weather, over-the-horizon anti-ship missile system, offering a versatile solution for both air and ship launches in the U.S. Navy's arsenal. Its efficacy is underpinned by features such as active radar guidance, a low-level sea-skimming cruise trajectory, terminal mode sea-skim or pop-up maneuvers, and a well-designed warhead. Harpoon missiles are deployable from surface ships, submarines, shore batteries, or aircraft. Similar to Harpoon, the Calibre missile family finds deployment across a range of platforms, encompassing submarines, surface ships, and aircraft. This cruise missile is distinguished by its adaptability and impressive long-range attributes with capacity to carry diverse warhead types, solidifying its role as a critical component in Russia's naval and strategic weaponry. In terms of mass, the Harpoon missile tips the scales at 1,523 pounds when including the booster. The Harpoon missile measures 12.6 feet in length when fired from the air and extends to 15 feet when launched from the surface or a submarine. Overall, the Harpoon missile boasts a diameter of 13.5 inches. Conversely, the weight of the Calibre missile varies significantly, ranging from 2,866 pounds to 25,070 pounds depending on the particular variant in use. Similarly, the length of the Calibre missile exhibits variation, spanning from 20 feet to 29 feet, depending on its specific version. Notably, the Calibre missile boasts a broader diameter compared to the Harpoon, measuring 21 inches across. The Harpoon missile features a robust 488-pound penetration blast warhead while the Calibre missile boasts the versatility of accommodating both conventional and nuclear warheads. The weight of these warheads varies depending on the specific Calibre missile variant, with a range of 882 to 1,102 pounds for high explosive or thermonuclear warheads. Engine and power. Powering the Harpoon missile is a Teledyne CAEJ402 turbojet, along with a solid propellant booster, providing more than 600 pounds of thrust for surface and submarine launches. As a result, the Harpoon missile possesses an operational range of 86 miles when launched from a ship, including Block 1 and Block 1C variants. extending to 138 miles when employed from an aircraft such as the Block 1C version. Furthermore, it attains a maximum speed of 537 miles per hour for Block 1 and air-launched Block 1C iterations, and exceeds 537 miles per hour for the Block 1C and Block 2 versions. During its flight, the Harpoon missile operates at a low sea-skimming altitude, closely following the water's surface. In contrast, the Calibre missile utilizes a multi-stage solid-fuel rocket engine, while certain models incorporate a turbojet engine for propulsion. The Calibre missile exhibits a variable operational range, 
with different types offering distances ranging from 31 miles to an impressive 2,796 miles. Furthermore, its speed capabilities are adaptable, spanning from 613 miles per hour to 2,302 miles per hour. During its flight, the Calibre missile typically maintains a low altitude trajectory, hovering at altitudes ranging from 164 to 492 feet above ground level or 66 feet above the water, which allows it to maintain a terrain-hugging flight profile. Guidance System As mentioned earlier, the Harpoon missile employs a sea-skimming cruise mode for its guidance system, closely monitored by both a radar altimeter and active radar terminal homing. Additionally, the enhanced Harpoon system facilitates over-the-horizon targeting through the use of helicopters, allowing it to engage concealed or obscured targets beyond the radar's visible range. On the other hand, the Calibre missile relies on a combination of satellite, DSM-AC, inertial guidance, and terminal active radar homing for its guidance. This guidance system plays a pivotal role during the missile's final flight phase, where it detects the target, calculates precise coordinates, and transmits this information to the missile's guidance system, ensuring accuracy and effectiveness in targeting objectives. Potential export. In April 2023, India was set to bolster its defense capabilities with a strategic move, planning to acquire missile systems from both Russia and the United States. This acquisition includes the purchase of more than 20 Calibre missiles from Russia and the Harpoon missile system from the United States, with an estimated investment of around $200 million. Current Missiles Threat Starting in August 2023, Russian forces have escalated their presence in the Black Sea by introducing a missile carrier in conjunction with a submarine. This deployment has resulted in a total of 12 Kaliber cruise missiles being positioned in the region, as reported by the Southern Division of Ukraine's Defense Forces on Telegram. Consequently, this development has considerably raised tensions in the area, with the risk of missile attacks now regarded as exceptionally high. On November 4th, as reported by the Kiev Independent, Ukrainian military forces allegedly conducted a strike within Russian-occupied Crimea, targeting a Russian vessel believed to be transporting Kaliber missiles. The details are awaiting official confirmation, but Air Force Commander Mykola Oleschuk commended the operation, drawing parallels with the effectiveness of Storm Shadow missiles. It is worth noting that Ukraine had received long-range Storm Shadow missiles from the UK in May, and these missiles were previously used in an attack on the Russian Black Sea Fleet headquarters in Sevastopol on September 22. At the same time, Sergei Aksyonov, the head of the unauthorized Russian administration in Crimea, mentioned on Telegram that air defenses were activated in the vicinity of a shipyard in Kerch. He noted that fragments from one of the intercepted missiles landed in a dry dock, underscoring the defense measures taken in the area. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.